Peace and welcome to the Ogono Art Family. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I study art and the differences between studying and practicing art. So what I have here are a collection of flashcards and these flashcards are, are what I use to study. So the reason why I love flashcards is because you know they're 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 small they're really small and, it, and since it's so small f at least for me it's easier to recall uh things that are in a small uh, in a, like a smaller section of location so if i'm drawing and i'm thinking about uh, a certain uh, like if i'm thinking about for example this position this pose here and if i'm drawing I can easily I can like recall this because it's just written in like a very small section and so compare this to if you had a lighter wider paper and you had notes cluttered everywhere so let's say for example let's say for example this this sketch pad here now imagine like all these written notes were all in all in one and since everything was written all in this uh, huge paper everything will be uh, a lot cluttered and your memory recall will just remember a whole load of clutter so that's another reason why I prefer to use uh, these things like the little the flashcards for easier recall and usually like when you're studying you want to you know we usually what I do is when I'm studying I just look at the these flashcards I like look at them to become conscious of what I'm drawing and when you're conscious of what you're drawing that's the that's the part of studying now what comes into play is uh is practice and i do my practice on a sketchbook and with the sketchbook is uh and with the sketchbook uh it allows me to you know it's very wide so i can just you know practice you know whenever i can do a whole load of uh, sketches and so the reason why you want to practice and study at the same time is that uh when you're studying you're conscious of it however without the practice you're more likely to forget everything that you've studied you know so you want to like always like look back at your uh, at least I always look back at the uh, the flashcards and then after that when I'm on practice mode that's when I start to you know to practice on the different pages and they both go hand, both of them go hand on both of them uh, go hand to hand with each other, so it's good to to uh, to have you know the studying aspect and <clears throat> and the practicing aspect. You wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't just want to have the practicing aspect because you wouldn't have the you wouldn't have the, the knowledge or. Yeah, you wouldn't have the proper knowledge if we were just practicing, because I know a lot of people that just that say that they practice and practice for years, but they, they never get better. Is just due to the fact they are, they aren't uh, they aren't like studying the they aren't studying like art in general, you know. So once you're studying it and you're getting a grasp of uh, different uh, parts of the anatomy or perspective or what, whatever you want to study on the flashcard. You know that's when you can come back and start to practice and so and so uh, flashcards I find them they're like they're universals I found that uh, you know people use them for vocabulary words uh, sometimes use it they use them for any big college exam flashcards are, are what people use so uh, I find that uh, you know, why not use uh, flashcards for art, you know, because for me, like just having something that's divided into like a very small section is a lot easier for me to to uh, to memorize. And so 
I have like uh, as you can see I have just different uh, I have them like in different uh, sections like I, I'm, I'm, I'm using both sides so for like my torsos torsos or whatnot so I have like a set of flashcards for for torsos and a set of flashcards for for just faces you know and I yeah just faces and you see I have like little notes here then you'll see like the set of eyes and whatnot but yeah these are like how I kind of organize organize it and you, you'll even see it here too you know just certain uh me just figuring out and leveling things out with uh with just flashcards so yeah that's what i find useful and so i feel after a good week of studying whatever you want to know in the flashcard and then practicing it on your sketchbook you will start to become one with the flashcard so as you're practicing you know for like a good a good week including the weekends yeah uh you will start to become you know more fluid you know you will you won't even have to you know remember or have the flashcard with you you know because while you're studying this and you're practicing it your memory is just gonna you know it's just gonna get used to okay this is how this looks like on the flashcard and you know you don't you wouldn't even you know you wouldn't need it to be near you at all and so yeah this is what I <clears throat> this is what I do to to study and with this method you can build speed and whatnot and so this is like a, a gradual thing you know there are some some parts of the the torso that I'm not used to seeing some angles and some you know just some parts of the foot and some parts of the the head that I'm not used to you know seeing in my visual library so you know this is a gradual thing so it can take you know you can just study you can just yeah you could just take small steps at a start time and like study each thing you know separately you know it, it's not gonna like be in like a, a day or so you know so you know it'll, it'll take time it'll, and and then eventually like you'll get uh you'll have a very large visual library at your disposal you know so yeah and so i tend to use comics such as uh apple black my hero academia one punch man just comics that are that have really shown in type action scenes and very you know dynamic angles those are like the uh, the comics that i enjoy studying you know jojo too and uh you can just see how to, how how they make their poses and whatnot by you know having a basic understanding of you know the fundamentals and then after that you can draw on uh you know for example my hero academia comp you can you can draw on that book and then after that from as you're drawing on that book you're just drawing just to get a grasp of how the artist you know constructed the character you know from the basic shape so you get a pose and then after that you just you're just drawing you know the basic figure you know the basic cylinder shape from that you know which is why i feel that people that are first starting out they should uh look at a youtube video called uh how to master the mannequin from imagination and you know you could just youtube that and it'll be the first link that comes up and like you'll see that uh i also did a video on helpful websites for artists and on that you um i provide you know there's a site again called you know sketch fab and whatnot you can look in you can look into that and yeah and that will be the video thank you guys for watching um also another there's a you know there's also quick poses too but yeah that's all provided on the, the video that i made you know helpful websites for artists but uh yeah uh that'll be the video thank you guys for watching and uh if you like the video leave a like and peace out oh so here's an example of the comic apple black here and so 
right here we have a character right here you know and say if you wanted to study from a comic and you know with the knowledge of basic fundamentals and shapes you can do this to study any pose from any comic that you desire so you know we can start with you know we have basic knowledge that you know the torso is equal to two heads you know so this is the two-headed you know torso okay so we're just gonna just again just form this from basic uh, from basic uh, fundamentals basic shapes for the drawing this is an anatomy you know so we have the torso that's equal to two heads right here okay and then we have uh, the pelvis right here you know and so this is how you would just go about just studying you know a comic you know in terms of like poses and so that you could register it in you know for like one of your studies so you would have this you know after knowing you know just the basic fundamentals and so when you're drawing this okay so we have this right so yeah if you were to draw this right here this is what this pose would look like it's not exactly 100% because it's like this is like a much more smaller version now that I'm working with like smaller paper so But yeah, this is just the gist of it. So right now, this is like kind of like the basic pose that's being shown right here, but you know, much smaller. And so this is this is how you would go about studying any anything. And so say if you had you wanted to have uh, wanted to uh, get one piece, you know. Because you know you wanted to study some of the waves, you know, tracing, tracing the waves, just studying how the author drew the waves would be, you know, you will get a, you know, it will be beneficial to you. And so I had a, I can't find a One Piece manga at the moment, but uh, you know, for waves, you know, you would, you know, do the exact same thing. And if you wanted to study the way he makes his, you know, proportions. You know, because One Piece does have a very uh, unique and abstract way of proportions, and at the and at the same time, it is following some form of of structure. So, yeah, that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.